Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how we made our ground level floating deck. And this is what we were working with when we first bought the house. So we went ahead and got rid of this ramp and this little platform, cleaned it all up and added some steps. Last year we wanted to enjoy our backyard so we bought patio pavers from Menards and made a temporary patio. And this lasted us for a year until we were actually ready to build our deck. Here is the finished product. And if you would like to see how we built this, keep watching. Most of our stuff came from Home Depot. We got our joist hangers and our nails, the two by six by 10 joist, some tan three inch deck screws. Our deck is gonna be 10 foot by 20 foot and the 20 foot boards we had to get from Menards. We have a corner angle bracket that we're going to use for extra support on the inside for the frame. Here we measured from end to end and marked off 16 inches on center for the joist. We didn't show this, but we did square off the deck before we moved it into the spot that we wanted it. So here we are cutting up four by four posts to place on the inside of the deck to slightly elevate it off of the ground, which we then set on concrete pavers and we spaced them out every five feet. And we decided to leave the concrete pavers underneath because we wouldn't see them anyway. In the additional area with the grass, we just put down some weed block barrier. Now you can start attaching your joist. We started by putting in our joist first, attaching the joist hanger underneath it and then nailing it in. We also secured it to the front of the frame with just two nails. This was not shown here, but you do want to make sure you cross check and make sure everything is level as you go. And we had to remove some pavers because it was making it a little unlevel, but again, that was not shown. We wanted our deck to have extra support, so we took some extra two by six and cut them to fit in between and we just staggered them down the middle of the deck. The middle beams are all in place. We got 20 foot deck boards from Menards and I started to lay some of them out so we can get ready to screw them down. So here we went an inch from the top and an inch from the bottom and we just pre-drilled holes first. We did make sure all the boards were tight and flush together before drilling them. <laughs> 